Um, uh, hi, uh, my name is Chetan and I am currently studying uh, microelectronics and uh, VLSI design in Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. In this video, I will be uh, giving a brief overview about um, how to design low noise amplifier in uh, ADS software. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so like uh, before proceeding with the design, uh, we need to choose an appropriate device and uh, a substrate. So here I will be using ATF 36077 device. Uh, this device is uh, ultra low noise. Uh, electron mobility transistor developed by HP. Uh, so in order to include this device in the ADS software, what we do is uh, uh, take the S parameters and the noise parameters that are already available in the data sheet of the device and then create a .txt file in the S2P file format. So in order to understand more about S2P file format, please check the link present in the description below. So as you can see in this slide, this is uh, an example of uh, S2P file format and uh, these are the S parameters and the noise parameters of uh, this device. Uh, and also as a subset, I'll be using ROSES uh, 4350, whose uh, dielectric constant is uh, 3.48. And uh, this design is done around 6.5 gigahertz. So, uh, so in order to include uh, this file in the ADS uh, software, you have to add a S2P file component in the uh, schematic. Uh, just search S2P file, S2P in the catalog, you'll uh, get this component. And then uh, double click and add, uh, add the file. Uh, in the file name location and just click OK. So after adding the file in order to find the uh, optimum gamma point, uh, we need to create a simple test bench and uh, include several uh, yes parameter components here. As, uh, this uh, such as this will give the stability factor of the circuit. This will give the constant gain circle. So in the constant gain circle component, uh, these values are nothing but the uh, uh, gain of the circuit. These are the gain values for which uh, we need to plot the circles and uh, this will give the stability circle and this will give similarly this, this will give these two will give the uh, load load gain circle and uh, load stability circles and uh, similarly these these were two values are the values for which uh, circles are plotted then and this is another uh, parameters which uh, gives us the stability of the device uh, after adding all the components uh, in the yes parameter uh, simulation uh, please check this uh, calculate noise box in order to find the noise and uh, give uh, input port as a one and a noise port noise output port as two after simulating uh, we will get uh, noise circles and uh, gain circle and stability circles for source and the load uh, these two points that are seeing is nothing but uh, are nothing but a uh, uh, s11 conjugate and s22 conjugate for a unilateral device these two will be equal these two will be equal to the uh, source reflection coefficient and this will be equal to the load reflection coefficient but as you can see here uh, even though this uh, these two points are outside the stability circle uh, but uh, the uh, the mu and the stability factor are less than one which means that the uh, reflection coefficient load reflection coefficient and the load reflection coefficient and the source reflection coefficient are coming inside the uh, stability circle which means the device is bilateral. Uh, in order to verify that, we can also use the figure of merit, which is coming out to 0 0.422. Uh, if this value is zero, close to zero, then the device is unilateral. Or else if it is uh, close to 0 0.5 or greater than 0 0.5, which this will be a uh, bilateral device. Um, for a bilateral device, uh, we know to calculate gamma in and gamma out. We need to use these two equations. Or what you can do is um, find the Z in of the circuit and then uh, 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 design a matching circuit at uh, uh, for that uh, impedance. Then, if the device is uh, if the circuit is coming out to be unstable, and then we have to tune it in the uh, desired direction, whichever direction we want, in order to make it stable. So after uh, after choosing an optimum uh, uh, point in the uh, Smith chart, uh, I have uh, designed a input matching and output matching circuit. Uh, so these uh, these um, micro strip lines that you are seeing are nothing but the pads that I'll be using, you know, for the soldering purpose. Like uh, after every component, I'll be using uh, these these uh, micro strip lines for the soldering purpose. The width and length of these are nothing but are uh, zero point. Uh, the width and length of this uh, micro strip line is zero point five cross zero point five. Then after simulating it, you get a uh, 
uh, value of S21 around 70.763 uh, dB and uh, noise factor of around uh, 0.483 dB. So after uh, simulating uh, using uh, LC lumped ideal uh, ideal LC components, uh, we need to replace them with the micro strip lines. Uh, in order to do that, we can uh, play a, use a simple trick here. What you can do is uh, find uh, Z in. Z is nothing but uh, the impedance seen at the input side and the output side. Uh, well, these are these two are different components. So, what we can in, in order to replace the input LC components with the micro strip lines, we need to find the Z here and then uh, match the Z star with the 50 ohm using micro strip lines and then uh, replace uh, these LC these uh, these components the whole these components with the micro strip line. Similarly, we can do with the output node output side. Uh, so this uh, this will give the exact uh, width and length of the microchip lines. So if we simulate it, uh, we will get the almost uh, exact results. So here I have replaced them uh, with the my uh, with the single stub matching uh, microchip line circuits here. You can see the you can get the length and width of the lines here. Then after simulating, as you can see, I told you that it will uh, match exactly with the lumped components but uh, what we are seeing difference is uh, in the noise figure and this is obvious that uh, we uh, uh, will get a slight difference in the noise factor with the ideal and the practical components <coughs> so uh, then after like uh, we need to uh, uh, build a layout of uh, those micro strip lines and then uh, 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 simulate it uh, do the course simulation uh, and uh, and then uh, check it uh, how the circuit is behaving like here also we can uh, use the same trick that we are that we used while, while replacing the lc component with the micro strip line and the same trick can be used to replace the micro strip lines with the layout based layout uh, based micro strip lines after doing after doing that uh, we got a uh, uh, s21 around 17.457 db and uh, a noise figure of around 0.627 dB. Then uh, these are the dimensions that you can check here. You can use it. You can use them. This is a schematic uh, micro strip line uh, dimension. This is a layout uh, micro strip line dimension. These are the parameters compared. These are the parameters that are compared compared within layout and the schematic at 6.5 gigahertz. Uh, 